Hi guys, it's Karen here, uh, coming to you with a Tasty Tuesday video. I know, surprise, surprise, right? Oh, FYI, check out my peonies, they're gorgeous. Ooh, fresh from the garden. They're my favorite. Um, anyway, so today we are going to be making my not-so-secret family recipe. Um, I call this uh, Dunbar Family Chicken. It, um, it's what we always used to have when we'd have barbecues at my grandparents' place. And um, it just tastes like my childhood. So it's one of my favorites. And... Um, I love it. We do this really, really frequently. Actually, when we go camping, we buy chicken and then put the marinade in and then freeze it. And we use um, our frozen meat sort of as extra ice packs and it defrosts over a few days while we're camping. So, um, yeah, we will get to it. It's really easy. So, Okay, guys, so here's what you need to um, make your chicken. So, obviously, you need some chicken. Um, I would suggest bone in, skin on. So don't panic about it, honestly. Like if you don't want to eat the skin, then don't. But honestly, it's delicious. So I have thighs here um, just because my pouch handles them much better than uh, the white meat. But honestly, even with breasts, it makes them so moist that you could use either. Um, so I have thighs and then we have one egg. We have one cup of white vinegar half a cup of vegetable oil, um, two teaspoons of poultry seasoning, and salt. Um, I would say about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I kind of just eyeball it. So all that I do for this is I put all my ingredients inside the bag. Yes, here's Noah. Say hi, Noah. Okay, Noah, help me pour the ingredients into the bag. This? Yeah, so we're gonna put our vinegar into the bag. That's gonna be hot. Okay, hold the bag open. I got it. Ready? Oh. Whoops! I got vinegar on me. Okay, some vinegar. We're gonna put the oil into the bag. Thanks for holding the bag, sort of, Noah. I Noah's gonna making... crack the egg into the bag. Can I do making? Shh. Oh, that was good. We just exploded that. Did you get all the shell in there? Yeah. No. Okay, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> then, can you hold this and point it for me? One second. Okay, sorry about this, guys. I know it's a little bit amateur hour around here right now. You're blocking the camera there, dude. All right, so then we're going to put... Hello. So. Our two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. Lauren, can you go play, please? Noah, stop. Okay, now you've ruined it. Stop, please. And then you put your salt into the bag, okay? Okay, guys, so once you have all your ingredients in the bag, all you're going to do is mix it up. So this is why I find it easiest to just put everything in a Ziploc because honestly, like when I separate, we usually buy our meat at Costco. So when I separate and portion it out, we freeze it in these and you're doing, you know, double duty. So, um, so yeah, once it's all shaken up, then you're just going to put it in the fridge and let it sit. You definitely want to leave it for at least a few hours. Um, I would actually recommend overnight is best and um, yeah that's pretty much it okay guys so that's pretty much it um, as I said like I'm gonna leave these to marinate overnight I like to do them on the barbecue but you could do them on an indoor grill as well if you wanted to um, tip if you are doing these on the barbecue you want to do them at a really low temperature because of the oil and the marinade it'll flame up on you so you want to keep your heat really low and cook them low and slow um, otherwise you're gonna end up with charred bird so so um, yeah, that's it for me and this Tasty Tuesday and uh, I hope you enjoy.